Well, hello, everyone. It is time for evening prayer. It is Monday, the fifth week in Lent. We're almost over with our journey through the Lenten fast, and uh, we're about to welcome you into Holy Week. Right now, dear friends, I'd like to invite you to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up. Of course, we're po we're posting content pretty regularly with regard to supporting your prayer life and praying the hours. So, hope you do uh, make take make and take advantage of that. Um, we are happy to welcome you here. If you're watching on Facebook, please give us a follow. Please offer your intercessions and thanksgivings. We're happy to take those in and lift them up regularly. And of course, we'll see you around campus with our ministries and our prayer services. Right now, we are ready for evening prayer. Here we go. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. We'll read together Psalm 35, responsively by full verse. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold, Take hold of the, the shield, shield and, and buckler and rise up, rise up to, help to help me. me. Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be put, put to shame, shame and dishonor, and dishonor who seek, after, who seek my life. after my life. Let, Let them, them be turned, turned back, back and, and confounded, confounded. devise evil against me. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For without cause they hid their net for me, without cause they dug a pit for my life. Bears, let the net that they near them, let them fall in it to their ruin. And my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, exulting in his deliverance. All my bones, All my bones shall say, O oh Lord, Lord, who is, like, who is you? like you, you deliver, you deliver the, weak the weak from those too strong, too strong to help them, from the weak and, and needy, from, from those, those who spoil, spoil them. them. Malicious witnesses rise up. They ask me about things I do not know. They repay me they evil repay for, me good. for good. My, My soul, soul is forlorn. But as for me, when they were sick, I wore sackcloth. I afflicted myself with fasting. I prayed with my head bowed on my bosom. As though, as though I, I grieved, grieved for, for a friend, friend or a brother, brother, I went about as one who, as laments, one who laments for a mother, for a mother bowed oh. down, and in, and in mourning. But at my stumbling, they gathered in glee. They gathered against together against me. Ruffians whom I did not know tore at me without ceasing. 
they, they impiously mocked me more and more, and more gnashing, gnashing at me with their, with teeth. their teeth. How long, O oh Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages, my life from the lions. Then I then will thank, I will you, thank you, for you for the great, great congregation and the mighty, and the mighty throng. throng. I, I will, will praise, praise you. you. Do not let my treacherous enemies rejoice over me. Are those who hate mm. me without cause wink the eye? For, For they, they do not seek peace, peace but, they but they conceive, conceive deceitful, deceitful words, words against, against those, those who are quiet, quiet in, the in the land. They open wide their mouths against me. They say, aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. You have, you have seen, seen O Lord. Lord. Do not, do be, not silent. be silent. O oh Lord, Lord, do not be far, do not from, be me. far from me. Wake up, bestir yourself for my defense. For my cause, my God, and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, oh Lord my, God. my God, according, according to, your, to righteousness, your righteousness, and do, do not, not let them rejoice, rejoice over. over me. Do not let them say to themselves, Alas, we have our heart's desire. Do not let them say, We have swallowed you up. Let all, all those, those who rejoice, rejoice at, my at my calamity be put, be put to shame, shame and confusion. confusion. Let those who, who exalt themselves, themselves against, against me be clothed, be clothed with, with shame, shame and dishonor. dishonor. Let those who desire my vindication shout for joy and be glad, and say evermore, Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of God's servant. Then my, my tongue, tongue shall tell you of your righteousness, righteousness and, your and of your praise all day, long. all day long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. You will say to me then, why then does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who indeed are you, a human being, to argue with God? Will what is molded say to one who molds it? Why have you made me like this? Has the potter no right over the clay to make out the same lump, one object for special use and another for ordinary use? What if God, desiring to show his wrath and to make known his power, has endured with much patience the objects of wrath that are made for destruction? But if he has done so in order to make known the riches of his glory for the objects of mercy, which he has prepared beforehand for glory, including us whom he has called, not from the Jews only, but also from the Gentiles. As indeed he says in Hosea, those who were not my people, I will call my people, and her who was not my beloved, I will call beloved. And in the very place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there they shall be called the children of the living God. And Isaiah cries out concerning Israel, through the number of children of Israel were like the sand of the sea. Only a remnant of them will be saved. For the Lord will execute his sentence on the earth quickly and decisively. And as Isaiah predicted, if the Lord of hosts has not left survivors to us, we would have fared like Sodom and be made like Gomorrah. What are we then to say? Gentiles who did not strive for righteousness have attained it. That is righteousness through faith. But Israel, who did strive for the righteousness that is based on the law, did not succeed in fulfilling the law. Why not? Because they did not strive for it on the basis of faith, but as if it were based on works. They have stumbled over the stumbling stone. As it is written, See, I am laying in Zion a stone that will make people stumble, a rock that will make them fall, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things, great for, things me, for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things 
and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And in three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him. For no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, entreat o, thee Lord. o Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We, we entreat, entreat thee, o Lord. o Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We, we entreat, entreat thee, thee o Lord, Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We, we entreat, entreat thee, thee o, Lord, o Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We, we entreat, entreat thee, o Lord, o Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all thy saints, and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, thee, O Lord. Lord. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of the world our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, <clears throat> Excuse me, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of all enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the night prayer. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for the repose of the soul of Vicki and consolation for her family and loved ones. Amen. Pray for Alma as she continues on a healing path. Give thanks yesterday for Canon Ramon Ubiero Torres' visit with St. Peter's and the grace we had to welcome him home to San Pedro. Give thanks for the completion of our Lenten lay preaching series and for the fruit that it bore for all of us. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning when we gather for morning prayer. Know that it is an honor to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us that thumbs up. And of course, as I said before, we'll see you tomorrow. For now, take care and God bless. Bye. Bye.